South Korea, population of 51 million people, has accomplished on introducing the culture to the world and through K-pop, K-beauty, K-food, our culture has influenced many lives in the world and taught people how to enjoy lives in our ways. And this, this is about beer, something that's globally connected and what we all enjoy in life. No differences in our background. K-beer. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. Hello all the YouTube users, this is Jonathan and this is Beer Tour in Seoul. So how's everybody doing? It's winter, it's winter time, yes? And I expect that a lot of you from other different countries are witnessing a lot of snowfalls. Well, in Korea right now, um, it has been 35 years since uh, the last time people have witnessed Han River being frozen due to a cold weather and it was very crazy nobody had expected it oh just one thing uh, korea weather broadcasts uh, are well known to fail fail to meet uh, their expectations so no one knew that the weather was going to be this harsh and that a lot of snow will fall how much has fallen well it was enough that the cars would, would uh, not go forward even buses were stopped uh, hours and hours and I heard from my friend uh, she takes bus back home from work and it took her almost four hours and there were a lot of people just uh, exiting out from the bus and pushing the bus from the behind so that they could move forward I was nuts it was very crazy and it kind of me remind me of the time when I was in Canada it was Canada is always snowing and uh, what Korea has faced this winter, what they called it, there was harsh weather that they have witnessed in the last 35 years, but Canada is always, uh, you know, they're always. <laughs> yeah, it, got, it was pretty nice and I took my dog out for a walk with my wife. It was my dog's first time to see the winter too. And I, I was quite surprised because I thought our scared of snow but no it wasn't she, she was just jumping around like a frog on top of the piled snow <laughs> it was very funny to watch too <laughs> anyways so i hope you guys are having great time with your families and still covid and we're staying home but we have families don't we uh, and you have me over youtube Hope you guys are well doing too. So, today's beer. Today's beer is another ale. Uh, it's by Cabru. Cabru is one of the first generation that had turned a craft beer business in South Korea. And Cabru Pumio. Pumio is nine-tailed fox in Korea. And as you already know, probably watching a lot of Japanese animes like Naruto something like that and you guys are well aware of what nine tail foxes are and Cabru's Kumio nine tail fox has a symbol of surprise a nine tail fox nine tail fox the name suggests nine tail fox so it has nine tails and are known as a transforming demon so Cabru's motto is that is to create or bring a creative ideas and manufacture and produce a variety of new new tasty style beers and this is actually what they have stated Cabru is producing variety of products beers uh, that brings new things in everyday life so I guess you can see right here in the level just for you to see I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna touch it anyways so as you can see Kumio Peach Ale Nine Tail Fox Peach Ale by Cabru. So as you can see, uh, there's fox of course, and its tail is oh I like this. It looks like some sort of a pop art. So they designed their entire level with all sorts of color uh, that's coming off from the tail. So they, I think that what they're trying to do is to emphasize that their symbol is Nine Tail Fox and Nine Tails. And their translation and using this symbol is to I will give you an idea that they're trying to manufacture and produce a lot of interesting beers. Their varietyness is emphasized. Peach ale, yes. As you can see, the color is all, well, there's green and purple, but 
mostly are uh, hot pink and light pink dominating color on this level so I'm expecting since this, this is a peach ale uh, this color obviously trying to represent the peach spirit so, so let's try this now let's try this let me pour this for you so first thing is first the smell oh yeah that's peach already it almost smells like uh, the manufacturer has poured a whole lot of peach juice in this beer. That's how sweet it smells. That's, that's very peachy, I like it. So let's pour it down and see the color. A lot of, a lot of bubbles are formulating as I'm pouring down into the glass. That means carbonation. One of the Korean beers uh, distinctive features style is heavily carbonated so yeah it's still bubbling a lot of bubbling is going on uh, I'm expecting a lot of tingling going gonna happen inside my mouth as I taste this and the color it's hmm it's not light it's it's deep gold I would say in SRM scale I would say it's around 6 to 10 ish and the turbidity and I cannot see through the glass so that's uh, I say that's cloud uh, this consists of alcohol up to 4.5 percent and the taste This is actually nice. Um, I was expecting that sourness from just taking the bites from the peach, and well, there is no sourness. Uh, as this is a peach ale, you smell for the entire time, just before sipping in and after sipping in this beer, you will smell that peach. It's heavily peach flavored, but the taste, uh, there's a lot of carbonation as you pour it down your mouth a lot of tinglingness and um, the texture is dry uh, there's a medium sweetness and um, a little bit of breading as well so peach ale we expected i mean i expected that it's well isn't it obvious beer and a whole lot of peach putting together and expect to have that sour taste, that distinctive flower taste from the actual peach. No, only smell. Uh, this cab root, uh, nine tail peach ale has well done job to bring up all that peach scent entirely. And surprisingly has just minimal sweetness and I didn't taste the sourness at the end. Well, this is very enjoyable beer. And well, I honestly thought that I was not going to enjoy this beer, but I'm actually enjoying it. That sweetness, that peach sweetness, distinctive flavors are very strong. It gives you kind of mouth to watery before even drinking it. And as you pour it down into your mouth, you're tasting that minimal, high heavily carbonated beer, but not sourness. So this is a very light beer to drink and enjoyable to have, you know, like a can before going to sleep or after work. And yeah, it's very tasty. I did a little bit of a background research on this beer um, and just looked at how other people had a expressed uh, their own way of perspective in their own words and I saw that this is a very bad beer and uh, they would they said that it's the one of the beer that they will pour down in the drain and not ever buy it again and also I saw a lot of comments saying that oh this does not go along with any food well I'm here to correct you and correct those specific people who had to claim that this is a bad tasting beer this is an actually nice beer the master behind the craft beer is to focus on their goal which is the flavor and bring it bring it out as an outcome and this beer has well done job to focus to bring out massive peach scents and they did a perfect job of it and 
and there are there are people who are asking how do you bring a certain scents to the beer well beers are manufactured with malts and malts are malts consist of starch and there are a lot of enzymes that cuts the starch into sugar pieces and it's the yeast's job to take that sugar and ferment it and as a byproduct they would produce carbon dioxide and alcohol and a lot of different chemicals as a byproduct as well and that byproduct other than alcohol and carbon dioxide is the scent there's banana there's peach so it depends on a type of yeast and how they uh, ferment the sugar from the starch off from the malt uh, that's how you expect what kind of smell you would have if you're at home brewing or just uh, brewing your own beer so even further to correct those negative commenters on this beer I would say you got the wrong food pairing because I saw comments drinking this beer with fried chicken of course it's not gonna go well mm. I'm gonna be backfiring at you uh, who made the, this brutal comment at, the, at this beautiful beer you got the wrong pair of the food with the beer and you're claiming that this is a bad beer because it doesn't go along with the Food that you're gonna have the night well hear this out this bitterness IBU is a scale that measures the bitterness I'd say this is about it's it's quite bitter enough so I'd say it's IBU around eight or nine and a fruity ales like this this peach ale where you taste a bitterness, kind of smiled or strong bitterness, you would have to choose the right type of food to enjoy the specific beer. Because if you don't know how to pair your beer with the specific food, and that are designed and meant to go along with the specific food that they targeted, the manufacturers have targeted, you're doing it wrong. And of course it's not gonna go well and you're gonna just ruin your entire evening of having the beer and the food fest. So, this kind of this type of beer that has a strong sweetness, peach scent coming off from the beer, just sitting at the table, and you can just smell it off. And then when you drink it, bitter beers goes along with the sweet foods such as cakes, like cheesecake or uh, fruit desserts, you know, just finger food. So you're drinking something bitter. You have to have something sweet that 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 kind of gives you the combinations to bring the best quality of taste but you're pairing i saw a comment saying that hey this bitter beer is one of the worst beer that i had and you have a picture of fried chicken in front of you and holding this beer that's a bad pairing decision of course oily food and chicken does not going to go well with this beautiful fruity scent beer it's just wrong so it's just like my whole uh, entire grade school back again. Um, I was a young kid back then and I was studying, studying in Canada and I was attending this um, private school. I brought sushi one day for lunch and everybody just looked at me. There was no Korean like me, no Asian. There was no other kind like me who can back me up. Well, I brought sushi to lunch one day and everybody just stared at my lunch and said, hey, what the hell is that? They were just looking at it, making comments, and they uh, mostly, generally, just they say, just made a statement that it smells bad. And look at us now. Don't you enjoy sushis, sushimis, and you know, makis? You know, before knowing it, don't make a comment. Don't make a bad comments to the hardworking manufacturers, brewers especially. You gotta know the food pairing. You gotta know what you want. You want a bitter beer? You want a high dosage of alcohol? I know that there is an alcohol that goes up to 10 or even above uh, for a beer. Yeah, those things, the characteristics and certain things that goes along in food pairing. You gotta look and search for yourself and decide what you're gonna eat and drink it with. So, yeah, today's lesson. Don't make a bad decision before you even knowing what you're talking about. So, the overall score that I would give this uh, this cab room, Nine Tail Fox Peach Ale, is 4.3 out of 5.
cuz um, I can't stress enough to say that I love bison beer one of the banana flavored beers I guess if I break it down into general idea of what my favorite beers are is the strong distinctive one characteristic that stands out in a can for bison beer banana flavor this beer peach so craft beer is focusing on the flavors they have done a well job to bring that full peach flavors on this beer outcome of this manufactured beer yes so 4.3 would i rec recommend it yes just generally to those people who enjoy uh, cakes or sweets desserts uh, i'd say try this beer it goes very well with the sweetness sweetness from your desserts and cakes especially cheesecakes and yeah so it's gonna amplify the sweetness of your desserts good with the bitterness yes sweetness let's combine well i do state that i love bison beer yes but um i <laughs> during last week i was put to a blind test and it was scored there was a korean beer association officials who were there were handing out certificates to whoever got a best score and sadly I was not able to distinguish between it Pilsner and what vice beer oh my god and I was so confident just writing down Pilsner vice beer and I got it wrong and I was so sad and I think it's time for me to say vice uh, beer goodbye for just a year for my banana sensing banana ability comes back to me naturally RP. well thank you again for watching my video and yes this beer is nice uh, i love the fact that i can smell the peach the strong peach smell and at the same time i can enjoy that heavily carbonated light beer at the same time taste and in my perspective taste and flavor alcohol the bitterness everything is balanced perfectly and i would say yes, if you love the sweet desserts go ahead and thank you for watching my video again i'll see you on my next videos and i will come back with more home uh, interesting beer that are out there in south korea there are a lot to go for thank you very much and this was jonathan goodbye oh wait before you go Please subscribe and like my video and put up our alarm setting on the right. Was it on the right of the screen? Yes, I think it was right on the screen. But uh, yes, please do so because your support and subscription and liking the video will support me and will move me forward in attracting and evaluating and presenting beers to you that are to be discovered.